Now we just got a call. Um, we have uh, the tones that just went off, um, and we'll be jumping in the medic unit and heading over there to see what's going on. Oh, uh, we're headed to a lifting assist. Uh, it says no injuries. That's why we're not rolling with lights and sirens. So it'll just be a nice cruise over to the address, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, so we're pulling up to the hospital right now and we're going to transfer Kara over to the ER facilities and right now she's a little bit confused because of the oxygen deprivation and so we're going to get her in and get her treated real quick. responded to a call for difficulty breathing um, in that the patient's house uh, didn't have electricity and she's on an oxygen concentrator um, so the oxygen concentrator was not running the whole night um, that they were without electricity um, and the family didn't realize that the patient was asleep um, at the time that everything happened so Uh, I started EMS about five years ago. Um, I, I actually sang my way through school on a choir scholarship through WCJC, um, and uh, one of my best friends uh, stopped breathing during or after one of our practices. Um, and Wharton EMS showed up and uh, was able to get her to come back to consciousness and start breathing on her own, and um, they were able to fix the overall problem and get her help. Um, but I was really kind of struck by that. Um, I didn't like not knowing what to do. So uh, I started um, uh, going around and asking people, you know, and talking to them, telling them, you know, that it really freaked me out. And one of my friends told me I should take a CPR class. Um, from that CPR class, the instructor was actually one of the instructors at the junior college's uh, EMS program. And uh, he suggested that I take a basic EMT course, which was one summer long at that time. Uh, I took the EMT course and just fell in love with it. Um, started uh, in intermediate and just kept on, went all the way through paramedic, uh, and then went back and got my associate's degree in emergency medicine. Uh, Uh, we're doing some EAED training um, for our new hire, Dylan Marburger. Um, right now, uh, we're just running through the basic steps of what to do as you're um, coming on to the scene of a patient um, when you have an AED. So. My name is Kayla Tyler. I'm 23 years old. I've been with the Victoria Fire Department for about a year now. Um, I'm over here at Station 2. I'm a firefighter basic. I chose this career because I wanted to do everything I could to help anybody and everybody. I love kids and I know a lot of people have a hard time dealing with kids, especially on medical calls. <laughs> I'm Joel Geary, I've uh, been with Victoria Fire Department for about eight years. Uh, fire medic here at Station 2 B Shift. Simply chose this to give back. Um, thought, of, thought about doing things for others. I've always wanted to do um, something to help serve and just give back to the community and, and to go out and touch lives and just make a difference. So it's something I've decided to do and um, love every minute of it pretty awesome what training and tools we have things we're able to do to help people it's pretty cool and the reason I got into doing this is I didn't like working a nine-to-five job and there's always something going on here and it's exciting I look forward to coming to work because every day is different and you meet some really cool people along the way like I work with my crew they're really cool and they're really helpful and they kind of help mold you into the person that you want to be one day so that's kind of cool and overall I, I really enjoy this job